praise the name of the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to my channel, my name is Samuel E. Molombe. I'm the man of God. I'm the man that God is using actively and I welcome you in Jesus' name. God has placed you in the driving seat. The Lord is asking, what do you want? I'll say that again, that God has placed you in the driving seat. And now God is asking you, what do you want? This prophetic word hit me. It really did hit me. The prophetic word came to me. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I was emotional when God was speaking. And I don't know who this is for. I, I strongly believe that this word will stir up something in the inside of you and it will begin a very mighty process of transformation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So the Lord is saying that you are living an inferior seat to a superior seat. You are living a place where you were controlled, you were, you were ignored, you were not celebrated or respected to a place of celebration, a place of superiority, a place of abundance. The Lord is saying you are living a room where in that room you have only been insulted. Whew. The tables are turning. I don't know who this is for, but hear the Lord and hear clearly. The tables are turning. I'm speaking to somebody who was once in a position of begging. Maybe you were begging your spouse, your boss, family members. You literally was begging to survive. But in the new order, God is placing you on the driving seat. You are the one determining what happens. See, the haunted now becomes the hunter. The needy now becomes the giver. Glory to God. The sick in body now becomes the healer. It's quite a beautiful place when God places you to be a supplier of one, what you once needed. The Lord says, He's putting you in a position where you get to determine what happens. I wrote that down. God is putting you in a position where you get to determine what happens. You know, this reminds me of the story of Brother Jephthah. The story of Brother Jephthah is recorded in Judges chapter 11. I'll give you a rundown of that story. Now, Jephthah was born by a prostitute. Her mom or his mom was a free woman. And Jephthah couldn't find peace in his own father's house. Growing up, um, his brothers would insult him. They would tell him, get away from here. You don't belong here at all. You are not supposed to be part of us. You are not supposed to be a member of our family. You are a product of our father's mistake. It was on the face of Jephthah. Can you imagine staying in a place where every day they remind you that their lives are miserable because of you? Can you imagine staying in a place where people constantly remind you of why you cannot be this or you cannot be that? That was Jephthah. That was Jephthah. He went through a lot. Definitely too much talking. They got him out. The Bible says he went out, down, down, just down there in the bushes and stayed there and got that. Bible says vain men. <laughs> literally, that's what the scripture says. He gathered people who were going nowhere. Literally, they had no plan for life. They were just sitting on the street. I don't know how you call them, homeless people. Um, but beyond the vein, the, this, this, the word vain men, they wasn't just showing their financial status, but it was showing also the state of their minds. They didn't have anything that they were going to do with their lives. But thank God for his mercies. 
You see, a man that is valuable is valuable in every situation. Can I say that again? A man that is valuable is valuable in any situation. You see, Jephthah, he takes that, his situation and says, what can I make out of this? You see, it doesn't matter what life throws at you. What matters is what you make out of it. Life is 80%. That's just for the fear of not saying 90. 80% of what you make out of and only 10% of what happens to you. Life is 10% or 20% what happens to you and 80% what you make out of it. And that's just the fear, again I say, of not saying 90%. It only hurt you that bad because you allowed it to. Back to the story of Jephthah. Jephthah is with his vain men, sitting around there all day, training them to be mighty, a mighty army. And just as the Lord promised, the tables turned. The people that chased him out, same, came back to him and said, you know what? We are sorry. We dealt treacherously with you. We dealt badly with you. And we're ready to make amends. And I can hear Jephthah asking them, what will be done? <laughs> I like that. What are you going to give me if I come back? You see, the Lord says before they called the shots. But when the tables turn, you will call the shots. The Lord is saying in the same places you were chased out, insulted, you were castigated, you were laughed at. In those same, you see, that's the beauty. The beauty is that it is in those same streets that God will glorify you. Hallelujah. 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 Before the very eyes of the people who saw you in your fallen state. The Bible says, who among you saw this, this house in its previous state, in its past glory? Who, did, who saw this house in its past glory? Who saw me the time when I was insulted? Who saw me the time I was going through a bad divorce? Who saw me the time when they took away everything that I had? Who saw me when the devil afflicted me? God says those same people, the tables is about to turn. And now you will be on the driving seat. You will call the shots. You will determine what you want. And it will be done. Yes, it will be done. Put yourself together. The tables are about to turn. As a matter of fact, they are turning right now. Do you believe in the word of God? Do you believe that God does exactly what he says he will do? Do you believe it? If you believe it, I want you to type and declare with me. Type in the comment section as your sign of belief. Put it in there if you've washed up to this point. God has placed me on the driving seat. Put it there. As you type that, heaven, earth, and all the elements of nature can hear your step of faith and your act of faith. As you type in that word, you are taking the place of authority. You are taking the place where you call the shots. I pray that the Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Do you receive this word with gladness? Hallelujah. If you found value in this prophetic word, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching up until this point. Ring the notification bell. You know, somewhere there, just wing it so that you will see this face over and over again. I love you so much and God bless you in Jesus' name. Shalom.